These aren't the droids you're looking for. Well, they might be in this case because it's the R2-D2 and C-3PO UK 2023 one ounce silver proof coin in association with Lucasfilm for Star Wars. Let's get into the review. Okay, so what makes this coin special? Well, as far as I remember, it was actually the first one to be uh, released in the Royal Mint and Lucasfilm collaboration for the Star Wars series. And this one actually is my favorite out of all of them so far, because it's quite clear. It's got R2-D2, it's got C-3PO on it, and um, they are very, very, very nice. You can see all of the fine details on it, the lines of the Millennium Vulcan uh, cockpit in the background. It's just it just really pops really nicely. So I really love that coin uh, Interesting fact about this one the box here as you can see I always move along a little bit the box here has the title on it as well But it doesn't have the Royal Mint logo on the top and that was actually a mistake uh, They've sent an email out on that and they will be issuing replacement boxes because all of the other boxes Have the Royal Mint logo on the top which this box doesn't so that's an interesting fact on that anyway so um you get this, this coin. This coin is um, really, really overall just such a great one. I've um, it's actually sitting on top of the um, coin capsule here. But yeah, basically you've got the um, at the top. You've got uh, the security feature as you move it. Now that is the Rebel logo on it. On this uh, on it. Um, however, I have noticed that you can actually see him. When you do the security feature, you can actually see a kind of a groove or a line through it. Now, I don't know whether that's meant to be there or whether or not that was in manufacturing. But it's it, the line kind of almost mimics... Um, so it's, it's just at the top here, but it almost mimics um, the pattern underneath it. So we'll, who knows about that anyway. But yeah, basically you've got, obviously, R2-D2 in the background, really well milled, and actually has kind of more of a... Um, frosted look about him. as the C-3PO and the Star Wars logo. And... It's trying to get a good angle on that, so it's best actually at the side there. I'm trying to get it so that they get much lighter there. Yeah, it's just and this is per, this is probably for all the Star Wars coins we've had is perfect so far. So um, let's go into a few more details. So obviously on the back you've got uh, Jennings King here, you've got King Charles, two pound coin. Um, this out of all of them that was released for the um, Star Wars range, this one is actually my favourite. So it's um, it's really good. You get the standard, you get the booklet here, which is just a standard add-on as well, and that's um, that's just says a bit about you know the droids. Now, interestingly, actually, the whole Star Wars saga um, was actually meant to be told from the story of the little people, which was the droids, uh, from the point of view that is actually a George Lucas um, thing that I do know about. Uh, yeah, these obviously these companions. So interestingly, they're actually still. Pretty much all the way through all the films, you get C three PO, three PO, and R two D two, and that's um, that's intended. Obviously, you've got um, the actor himself, Anthony Daniels, who played C three PO, and he's probably one of the most long-standing actors who's appeared in the same character all the way through. Maybe Luke Skywalker for Mark Hamill on top. Uh, did you know Kenny Baker's parts in the Wrench Assist were a mix of computer-generated imagery and recycled footage from Attack of the Clones? There we go. So you've got the usual facts in here. Um, but again, you don't have anything about um, the coin itself and anything like that, as far as I can see. Let's just double check. We never know. Could have skipped past it, but I don't think I saw anything. Or if I did, I'm missing it. No. Well, maybe we've got one. No, that's it. So, obviously, that's just, you know, not the case. Okay, you've got your um, Royal Mint card here, which is just standard information and in this particular instance we're going to have to move it up a bit so you can see it so there we go so you've got r2d2 c3po we've got number 266 it would be better to get number 66 because that's got canon um here we go we've got the information here let me try and get this in a little bit better light denomination two pounds uk 999 silver 31 21 grams 38.66 millimeters. Martin Jennings did the kick in the back, and the reverse designer is Lucasfilm. Proof quality 3010. Limited edition presentation 3000. Standard. So I'm working on my lighting setup at the moment, and I'm getting there with it right now. I think I need to get a little platform up on here because the height is a bit better about here. So, you know, there's a height difference of, I don't know, quite a bit, probably about whatever height the box is at here so yeah <laughs> that's about pretty much where we want it so 
Um, but yeah, so, you know, I'm working on my setup here to try and get the coins in the best light possible. I've got, um, and you know, if anyone's got any tips, please do let me know, but we're getting there. But yeah, this coin, I'll, I'll keep it on the side of the box here because that's actually about the right height. So I might have to build a little platform or something, but as far as it goes, this, out of all the ones that have been released so far, the Millennium Vulcan does look very good. Um, but in this particular series, which was the heroes and villains, I think that this is my favorite coin because it's got everything. It's extremely clear. The lines are great. And it just looks exactly like the image that it's supposed to look like and um, for that reason i'd say it is probably the best one so far uh, actually today, i'm filming this today on uh, may the 4th so may the 4th be with you and um, they've just actually released the tie fighter one today which is in the iconic vehicles of star wars collection and on top of that i believe they've also got a um a minted bar that is star wars themed and it's got han leia and luke and i've grabbed that as well so we'll be looking at that so uh, lots of star wars coins coming our way hopefully they keep them coming but obviously we want a good mix of other types of coins as well because you know j just star wars would start to get a little bit boring after a while not saying i'm not a big fan of star wars but just star wars coins only on this channel would get a bit tedious so Anyway, that's it for the um, C3PO and R2D2 coin. I love it, and um, yeah, this one's just you know, uh, this one's just great. I, if they can keep designing the coins like this, I'll be happy.